Пане Президенте, просимо вас поділитися нашим, з нашими учасниками своїми думками. Our team, we had a very good, good visit to Great Britain and, and then we had very good meetings in EU in Brussels with, with all of our partners. Thank you very much for your support and for all your words and deeds uh, since the beginning of a full-scale invasion of Russia. But we have challenges each day and so, ladies and gentlemen, another missile attack on our country has just taken place. This is our morning today. At least 65 rockets and all against civilian infrastructure. And this follows a night of air raid alert. Before this morning, missile strike and attack with deadly drones and rockets too. They are targets where power plants and power transformators, that is the basis of normal life of people, energy. And if the Olympic sports were killings and missile strikes, then you know which national team would occupy the first place. And it is not important whether this national team would have its official flag, the state, tricolor, Russian terrorists use different symbolics. The Russian military forced Ukrainians in the occupied territory of our country to wear a white armband and uh, allegedly, allegedly not to be killed, but they were touched and killed even with these white armbands. Russia uses certain letters of the Latin alphabet on flags of, of different colors and all of them symbolize the genocidal ideology of racism, whatever the specific color is used. It also happens that the Russian occupiers destroy normal life without any, without any symbols at all. This is how the Russian aggression began. Our Crimean Peninsula was occupied by Russian soldiers without any insignia. So I want to ask you if representatives of a terrorist state appear at international sports competitions or the Olympic Games, will it matter if they are there without their national symbols? The mere presence of representatives of the terrorist state is a manifestation of violence and lawlessness. Dear, dear friends, really, I know, I know you really do not want to allow the Olympic principles, Olympic principles to be dis distorted. It is a fundamental think for Ukraine and I believe for each of your states to protect the value basis of normal life that we cherish with you. Peaceful life, a life based on respect for different people. The Russian state has chosen the path of terror. And that is why it, it has no place in the civilized world. The world isolated Russia to be protected. The Russian presence is being removed to encourage an end to aggression and terror. And this is the self-defense of the world, a world that takes care of its values and protects life. 228 Ukrainian athletes and coaches died during, during this year of Russian aggression against Ukraine. 228. And how many Russian athletes have spoken out to condemn the terror unleashed by their state? In fact, uh, there is almost no such condemnation. There are only a few isolated voices that are quickly fading away. We know that many Russian athletes 
associated with the sport clubs of the Russian army and of security state agencies, including athletes who applied for championships and the Olympic Games. And we are aware that many Russian athletes have a military or, or other special rank. We know that Russia is trying to use any, any attention of world, uh, of world to the Russians for war propaganda. If, God forbid, the Olympic principles are destroyed and Russian athletes are allowed to participate in any competitions or, or, the, or the Olympic Games, it's just a matter of time before the terrorist state forces them to play along with the war propaganda. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, sports community, each of us knows what the Olympic principles are. Terror and Olympism are two opposites. They cannot be combined. Probably someone wants the trivialization of sports and the presence of a terrorist state in one form or another on the world's sports fields. Probably someone wants to disregard the Olympic spirit in order to help Russia by manipulating the mere ladder of the Olympic principles. However, we must protect life. We must protect our values. We must stop aggression and fight against those who choose the road of terrorism. We must safeguard the Olympic movement. And I believe really believe that that we will. Ukraine has launched a marathon of honesty and I and I urge you to join. While Russia kills and terrorizes representatives of the terrorist state have no place at sport and Olympic competitions. And it cannot be covered up with some pretended neutrality or white flag because Russia is now a country that stains everything with blood even the white flag it must be recognized and this must be recognized in particular at the level of the International Olympic Committee the International Olympic Committee needs honesty honesty it has honesty it has unfortunately lost honesty that will help stop Russian terror and bring peace closer. I thank you for your attention. Thank you for your support. Let life win. Slava Ukraine.